I believe that there's there's no doubt that the military industrial complex is as as a threat to the planet. Uh, it's a threat to tranquility. It is. I do find a, a kind of this odd thing where we um, ruminate over the fact that uh, AR fourteen uh, uh, AR fifteens are proliferating and we can't make our our grade school safe and we've been exporting billions of dollars of weapons around the world and that you know who knows how many uh, uh, important places of public assembly the U.S. munitions have blown up. I mean, I would tell you that the whole uh, post nine eleven period. Uh, where we created a further notice war on terrorism, actually proliferated terrorism, destabilized the nation states, uh, creating one of the worst refugee crisis, well, the worst refugee crisis from, uh, since the Second World War, all brought on by uh, the serial wars that we pursued without accountability. I think the nadir of it was when uh, at some point in Niger, we uh, lost track of some American veterans uh, uh, who fighters who, who died in country, and none of the senators uh, uh, and the Armed Services Committee knew we had soldiers there. So the dereliction of duty just didn't start with Donald Trump. Uh, it's been an autopilot for a long time, uh, and, I, and I do believe that we will not be able to turn around our circumstance without addressing the military-industrial complex in a fundamental way.